Sense supports people with sensory impairments and other disabilities to take part in all sorts of physical activities, from rock climbing to yoga. This means we work closely with sports coaches and instructors in a variety of settings. They play a valuable role in guiding and helping individuals to enjoy physical activities, to grow in confidence and get active. Do take your time to get to know the individuals you are supporting. Each individual is different, so we, we do need to adapt our sessions accordingly to what, what they need. I would say to someone who is involved in a sporting aspect is that communication is very important when supporting in these activities with the deafblind people. Uh, patient, if certainly another one, and perseverance, and that's very important. The advice I would give to coaches and other instructors working with people with sensory impairment are really to look beyond the label. So sensory impairment is something that these people have, but to look beyond that and look at the people's potential. It's important to be flexible and go with the flow. If I was advising another coach, I would say definitely don't have a set plan for your session. Be flexible in what you do. Um, make sure you can be adaptable. Also make sure that you are not being afraid to try new things. And also just enjoy it. Enjoy being with, with your group. Be confident. Absolutely, Mr Coach, yeah. Have a go and be confident. And don't get nervous or, or, or wind yourself up. In the past when I worked with new coaches with this, they try and work too hard. I think they have to really work at it. No, you don't. Just relax. And let's like say you, you'll bounce off the participants and you'll soon get to their level of understanding and abilities and it just flow. Physical activity in sport is a fantastic opportunity for people to try new experiences and push their boundaries. One person, for example, who I remember, um, his name was Terry, uh, he, was, he was deaf and blind uh, and he wasn't too sure about being on the wall. Um, so what we did is we, we walked him over to the wall, we got him to feel, feeling the holds, showed him how to climb gave him a, a brief on what to do when he gets to the top and we physically had to help him the first few times um, but after that he got the feeling of it, he got the sense of it and after that he absolutely enjoyed it, he got to the top um, and you know we couldn't get him down and he was, he was enjoying it that much. Working with people with sensory impairment is a humbling experience and it's important to take a few risks and have a go because these people receive a very positive experience and they go away feeling fulfilled and happy. The main thing is for everyone to have a good experience and enjoy themselves. I really enjoyed the effort they put in and what they get out of it. That's what rewards me. Um, the, the, they really work hard at it and they give always 100% and they work to their absolute maximum abilities and uh, they can't get enough of it. That's what I find in most of the cases. And the progression as well because it's not only the football abilities that they show it's also, to me, the social aspect of it, to come out into a new envir environment and enjoy it. I get a wonderful feeling of seeing the individuals enjoying themselves and really getting involved in it and seeing how they develop and they're learning something new. I will be continue coming in this session as long as I am alive. <laughs>